Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and I probably won't be for very long. I say that, but then I might start rambling. Um, I want to respond to Mega Dan's latest video about how he wishes YouTube was still free. And yeah, I I agree with a lot of things he said. Because these days, man, like, I mean, before YouTube, before there was monetization on YouTube, before Google bought it or whatever, before there was YouTube Partner, even back then in, in the OG YouTube days when there was partnerships where it was very different how you got partnered back then um, 2007 2006 2008 and so forth it was very different and yeah like I'm a montage channel as well I mean if it's there sure go ahead and make money if you can from it but too many people are consumed by money like I wish I could make a living doing this but at the same time if I can't I still love to do it as a hobby I mean I, I got monetized in 2021, September 2021. Do you know how many Google paychecks I've gotten since then? Three, maybe three. Maybe three Google paychecks because I don't get enough viewership, <clears throat> super chat donations, memberships, ad revenue to make a Google paycheck every month. You have to make at least $100 every month to get that Google paycheck. And I've only done it maybe three times since September 2021. But why do I still do this? Because it's still fun. And if I can make money since I'm monetized, why not? You know, go ahead and make whatever money you can. As long as you're not really e-begging or whatever. I'm thankful for any donation or any merchandise I sell, which is not much at all. Um, but if I can get some money doing this stuff, why not? Go for it if you can do it. I mean, and I was grinding too hard in 2021. Um, well, I don't regret it. It was a goal that I had to get monetized. I knew I wasn't going to pay any bills. I knew I wasn't going to get paid that often because even Alpha Nerd told me when I was grounded for monetization, you know, he told me even Mega Dan doesn't, uh, with the strong viewership he's got, you know, he doesn't get paid that often on YouTube because it really takes a lot of viewership, a lot of donations, a lot of ad revenue, etc., to really make. A substantial amount of money on YouTube you really got to be like someone like a moist critical or a Budahar or some ordinary gamers or whatever millions of subscribers to like make a sustainable a living or whatever I mean not definitely don't do that it'd be nice if I did but it's not the reality is channels like me and Mega Dan um, you know uh, we're most likely never gonna blow up or make a living doing this which is fine because it's all about it should be all about having fun. If you can make a living doing this, that's fine. Some people try too hard, though. And Dan was pretty much right in everything he said. And as I was watching that, I don't, I, I can't think of the last time I've done a video response to anybody. Who remembers YouTube back in the day where you made, you can make a, a video response very easily, but YouTube took that ability away. I mean, technically, you can respond to somebody with a video, but you can't, you know, click on video response and then immediately have it um, like record and then have it directly reply to that video um, can't do that anymore I don't know why YouTube got rid of that but anyway I really wanted to respond to Dan I'm trying to remember everything he said um, but I know there's a lot of things that really made me think yeah man that is so right on so right on because some people think when they get monetized they're going to pay bills some some of them can yeah some people think they're going to pay bills that they, they can quit their day job no if I did that, I would have been on the street because I don't make enough money to pay bills. It's a good extra income to make on the side every once in a while while you're doing something that you love doing. But yeah, Dan's right. It's about you know the YouTube shorts or people trying too hard to get views. And there's nothing wrong with, with wanting to grow your channel, but some people are a little too obsessed with it. And I see where Dan's coming from. He misses the old days where he did it because you wanted to. Me and Zombie have talked about this before. It's kind of a mixture of business and hobby. Like, I like to do this. I always kind of pretended like it's a job because it would be nice to have a job doing what I love doing and not have to commute to work every day and just stream at home full time um, and make money doing something I love doing. But at the same time, I still want to do it. I still do it because I want to do it. Uh, I want to stream a certain game because I feel like it. I want to do a no death run of a certain game because I felt like it. Um, 
not because, oh man, you know, this game just came out. I better be the first to stream it so I can get uh, all these viewers sitting in my stream watching me. And yeah, like I, I see where Dan's coming from. And I love how Dan, he's just like me. He doesn't schedule his streams, which is nothing wrong with that. I used to do that, but I don't do it anymore because I just can't always promise I'll be there. Something will come up and I got to cancel. That's why I never schedule my streams. I don't want people to think, oh man, Ronnie's going to stream Mega Man 2 tomorrow at 8 p.m. And then they click on the notification saying, remind me or, or notify me when he goes live. And then I don't. That's disappointing. I ended up disappointing too many people doing that a lot. Just, oh, I don't feel like streaming tonight. I just got off work. I'm sick. I don't feel like doing this. And I got tired. Of, I said, I better, I better just not schedule anything anymore. Just do it impromptu. And Mega Dan, he doesn't schedule his streams. He just does it when he feels like it. And, yeah, man, I just wanted to make this video. I didn't, I could have probably typed this in the comment section of your video, Dan, but I just wanted to really do a video response talking about that, saying how much I agree with you. And, like, and I know some people, you know, I kind of felt like, I kind of did take a shortcut in 2021. I was doing these streams where, and I had bad internet in Mexico. So I, that's why I didn't do premieres that often. It took forever to upload a video. And to live stream, the stream wasn't perfect. The quality was terrible. But you guys, like Dan and others that helped me grind and get that monetization, thank you very much, by the way. You you, you would see me do these streams. It's pre-recorded footage of CPU versus CPU. And I would just have it play overnight or whenever. And then people would just come in and watch or maybe chill or they would just lurk because they knew they was trying to help me grind for that monetization goal. And I, looking back on it, I kind of, I don't really regret doing that, but part of me kind of does because people like Dan and Omega Ace Gaming, they grow their channels organically. My channel, I never got monetization organically. I tried too hard to get it and I did a lot of boring CPU versus CPU streams. Some people enjoyed those, by the way. We come in, we hang out and talk. I'll be a bit in bed asleep and there's people chatting in my chat room, moderators watching over the room or just chilling and chatting chat with other people. And I would be in bed checking the chat room overnight, seeing if there any activity going on or whatever. And as the watch time hours grinded, that was a six month period of uh, hardcore grinding right there just for, for monetization. But I knew I was gonna pay bills. I knew I was gonna get rich. I still wanted to have the memberships enabled, to have the ECW loyalty badge, the, the icons, uh, emojis and all that stuff, Ron Moore emojis and all that, just for fun. Um, but I still never fully obsessed with it. Like if I did not reach monetization, oh well, I tried, move on, I'll still do this as a fun hobby. So I still do this as a fun hobby to this day. Um, I mean, I've been on YouTube since 2007. A lot of Let's Plays, some reviews, mostly live streams these days. And I, um, I still do this for fun, ultimately. Just like Dan does, just like Ace does. And I met great people in this community. And we all have fun at the end of the day. If I can make some money doing it, great. If not, oh well. Like, God forbid I get demonetized for whatever reason. If I do, that's fine. I got a job that I like. But, I, you know, if I get demonetized, oh well. I'll still do this for fun. And now I like my job where I'm at. But if I can make a living doing YouTube streams full time, I would rather do that. But not everybody can do that. Not everybody can be ninja. Now everybody could be these big time Twitch streamers, which some of them may use desperate tactics or whatnot to get donations and whatever, and that's just not me. I mean, you could say, well, the, the streams you did in 2021 seemed desperate for monetization. Well, yes and no. I was determined I had a goal to reach monetization just to make a little bit of cash doing what I love doing. But at the end of the day, I still enjoy some of those CPU versus CPU streams or replays. But I'll let people know what I was doing. I would be upfront about it and not try to mislead people, making them think I'm playing a game live when I'm not. So I was upfront and honest about my goal and what I was doing there. But that was still a fun time. And of course, I don't do that that much anymore because I reached that goal. I got monetization now. But I still do streams for fun. I grind it on Twitch, not as hard as YouTube because YouTube is harder to get monetized than it is on Twitch. And, you know, I, I hardly ever make anything on Twitch at all. I never cashed out yet. Uh, that's because Twitch and YouTube are a separate thing. I don't multi-stream, but uh, in Twitch, I, at least right now, I have it as a separate entity. But um, I hardly ever stream on Twitch. As you guys know, I hardly ever stream at all. 
these days anymore because of life changes, marriage, job situation, all that stuff. So, but yeah, I try to remember everything else Dan said. Um, like, man, uh, it's just a fun hobby I still enjoy doing to this day since 2007. 16 years I've been on YouTube. And nothing wrong with making money. Nothing wrong with being monetized. But I see Dan's point. A lot of people are too obsessed about the money. I started doing YouTube shorts to grow my channel a little bit more. Get people that don't know who I am attracted to my channel. And then if they like, they can view, uh, tune into my live stream, subscribe to me and whatever if they feel like it. Um, <clears throat> but I ran out of topics to talk about as far as video games go on, on shorts. I stopped trying too hard to do a short every day. Plus, like Dan said, you got a life outside of YouTube. You got a family. Or if you don't have a family, you got a job. You got real life situations to take care of outside of YouTube. And if you're not going to get further, you know, some people might not get further in their job or get that promotion or whatever because they're too busy obsessing with stuff on YouTube and content, desperate for clout or whatever. And again, there's nothing wrong with growing your channel. But I see what Dan is saying. I just want to respond and say, man, I, I hear you 100%. And it got me to thinking a little bit like, you know, um, well, I don't have much time anymore on YouTube these days anyway, as you guys know. It got me to thinking I was probably starting to turn into one of those people that got a little bit too obsessed with growing that channel or making money or whatever. And I just wanted to make money doing what I love doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but Dan is right. Like, some people are too obsessed with just with, with the being the first to live stream a new game that just came out or uh, well I gotta I gotta play this game to get these views or you know it's all about like like no Dan was talking about stealing content and then trying to monetize that content on Instagram with people that stole my retro life's videos like come on man really and it's the it's money and money can is causing that you know, the greed people want to make money the easy way and by stealing other people's content or trying to do something desperate on on YouTube. I remember that story where this girl had her boyfriend uh, or the, I forgot the channel's name. The Her boyfriend held a book to his forehead and he said, go ahead and shoot through the book. The book is thick. The bullet would not go through the book. Well, the bullet did and it killed him. She ended up going to jail or prison for a while. So, all for clout because they were so desperate for that. I know I'm not looking at the camera. I want to make sure I look all right. I guess that's why I'm not looking directly at the camera. Anyway, I don't do these videos that often. It's mainly live streams these days. And uh, uh, my work schedule has changed, so I, I don't really work that much at nights anymore, which is good. And I just got through streaming Mega Man 2 for the NES Fans Game of the Week. For those of you who have watched it, thank you very much. And after that stream, I did this video. And yeah, I just wanted to respond to Dan. And uh, I know I've been rambling here but just trying to speak from the heart and just say yeah Dan I I see where you're coming from man definitely and in 2021 it made me think you know was I one of those people I was too obsessed trying to get monetized and I wouldn't say too obsessed but I just had a goal and I wanted to at least attempt that goal and I did and it was worth it it was it's fun to make a little money here and there super chat donations <clears throat> memberships merchandise sales a few t-shirts and, and merchandise I've sold over the years nothing wrong with that but at the end of the day I still want this to be a fun hobby with the YouTube twitch or wherever else I may stream in the future um, it's a fun hobby if I never get big big time whatever that's fine I don't care I really kind of don't want to be big time you know and that's why I don't schedule my streams you also got to entertain yourself like I sometimes I do cheat streams I cheat in CPU games sometimes I use Game Genie or whatever. I just want to get through the game, have fun, not stress, get a headache. Dan does not like those streams. Dan would not watch you cheat. He will leave. That's fine. But to me, I still love to do those streams. I love to do the CPU versus CPU streams from time to time, like I did the other night with Revenge. And I used to do a WrestleMania 2000, uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4, CVS 2, Super Street Fighter. Sometimes you got to do what's best for you as well, entertain yourself as well as others. So I feel like I found a healthy balance there. And if I'm cheating in a CPU game, single player game, I'm upfront about it. You know, I don't play multiplayer games online anyway. If I did, I wouldn't cheat. That's a different story, multiplayer. But in the CPU games, sometimes I just want to chill and have fun and do a cheat run. Some people get butthurt and be like, oh, you're cheating. Yeah, I am. Read the title in the description. I'm telling you up front, I'm cheating. 
but some people are just like, I don't want to see that. I want to someone, see someone struggle and beat the game legit, and that's fine. I do those streams too. I beat Contra legit, no death run. Mega Man 2 legit, no death run on normal difficulty. Super C, no death run. Mega Man X, no death run. Um, sometimes I play games legit and have fun. I like to do a variety of streams. CPU versus CPU streams, cheat streams, or legit streams. Like Star Tropics, I'm still trying to beat that game legit. No save states or anything. So, but it, yeah, uh, Dan is right, man. Back in the day, it was mainly because you wanted to do it. These days, it seems like too many people is doing it because they want to, it's all about the money. And I get it. You want to make money. But if it's all about the money, and you're stressing yourself out over it too much, and you're forgetting about real life situations like your family or whatever, that's bad. That's, that's not good. It's, it, I see what Dan's coming from. The good old days of people doing it because they wanted to do it and they had fun doing it. 100% agree with you, Dan. And I like the sunglasses, by the way, in your video. ECW sunglasses. All right, guys. So that is it. I am out of here. Thank you for listening to this long, boring, rambling rant. And I'm out of here. God bless and take care.